Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a first look on the map Red Dornheim, I believe is as close as I'm going to get to pronouncing it at least. Um, it is a Dutch farm, so it's obviously set in the Netherlands somewhere. Let's just take a look at what we own starting out. So we own the big farm plot valued at $326,000. We also own three fields, 30, 56, and 87. Let's just do a quick look here to see how many farming plots there are. I believe 87 is the highest number from what I can see. We also own a small plot 81. What is that? Oh, so our house is up here. Interesting. So we've got a house up here in the city, and then we've got a couple of farm fields as well as a big farmland here. Looks like we have a cow barn, a silo, some storage, another cow barn, so two cow barns. We start out with 20 Holstein dairy cows with no food. Okay, very cool. Got the Kloss Arion 650, 1986 pickup painted orange, looks very nice. Deutzvar top liner harvester and the 5S, so some pretty good machinery. Let's take a look at what else we own. We own two Welger trailers. Uh, they are identical. We own the header for the harvester as well as a five furrow plow, a three meter horse cultivator, so some pretty small stuff, as well as the K brand, was that four meters? Four meter cedar and the power harrow combination. The smallest planter in the game at three meters. We own a small mower, the smallest forage harvester wagon. A small um, bale shredder forge mixer thing. And some other stuff here. Some miscellaneous items down at the bottom. We also start with a fillable metal box. I don't know what these are. Storage pallets mod. This playthrough or sorry, this first look video is uh, vanilla, so there's no mods except for the ones that have to be included in the map, and so let's just have a look at that. It's got a diesel pallet mod, so you can buy diesel. Obviously the map comes with some modded equipment. Let's see, what's the difference here? Okay, so the difference with these two Amazon uh, fertilizer spreaders is that they are now allowed to do lime, whereas base game, you can't do lime with these, just fertilizer. The milk trailer is added um, diesel, as you can see there. What's the difference with these? I'm not sure um, why these three are modded in. Maybe uh, the base game one. Let's just check and see. The base game one might not allow fertilizer. Yep, so here as you can see, it's only seed, whereas the modded version that comes with the map can also do fertilizer so that's very handy we got some dumper trailers that you can change the capacity of from base game up to the uncommon and you can just go you can pick your uh, size there for those so very handy and then some small seed bags and um, what is that some chicken kufater um, let's see, mineral feed, seeds, the fertilizer, chicken, sheep. Is that silage? Is that a silage bale? I don't know how to pronounce that, as evidenced by the fact that I tried and failed. And then we also have a storage pallet mod, looks like. So these, the ones you start out with, just 5,000 liters of, looks like just about anything in the game, so... Now that we've got that out of the way, let's see if any of our fields have anything on them. It looks like they are all three, yep, cultivated and ready to be planted. You do start out with 100,000, so let's see if you can buy yourself a field starting off. There are a couple of fields you can buy. Looks like 54 is an option, 41, 39, these three here. So yeah, the fields are not too expensive. Um, the three you do own are each under $100,000. So, you could definitely expand quickly if you wanted to spend your starting money. 
A little bit of a visual glitch there, isn't there? <laughs> That's funny. Silo pops in and out of existence. You can see the background back there. That's. Look at me finding flaws in these maps. Alright, so this is our cow barn, I believe. Let's just open it up, see if... Oh no, sorry, this is our shed. This is the cow barn here. So this would be the one that has the cattle in it, the 20 Holstein cows that we started out with. As well as our forage mixer here. Let's just hop over that. It starts out with feed in it. Interesting. So I'm going to just hop in the Klossarian and feed those cattle. That's interesting. I've never seen a map where there, there's a forage harvester that starts, or sorry, a forage mixer that starts with the feed actually in the machine to feed the cattle. That's very interesting. They do start out with no food though, so we do have to get them fed. Let's just go ahead and unload this. Get these cows some food. Doesn't unload very fast, does it? Let's try to keep it straight. Ooh, things are getting squirrely. Looks like I got a little too far away. There we go, it's been fully unfilled. Ooh, I do want to check and see if there are any extra crop types. Some maps have extra added crop types. It looks like standard crop types and calendar here, so the only thing we can plant would be canola. As the fields are already cultivated, there's no need to do that, so let's just grab this. Cedar combination here. It does start pre-filled. Okay, that's very good. That is quite handy when your cedars start with seed and fertilizer in them, so you don't have to do anything with them. Very nice. Get some canola in there, and this stuff is quite heavy, so let's go ahead and drop that off and get our weight. It's right here in the shed. Alrighty, and then let's head to the field. Let's open up our map here. I'm just going to do field 16 for now. So we can see if there's any issues with any of the field work or the modded equipment. I did do a first look on the Lazy Acres Farm map tour, if you guys have seen that. Uh, you would know that there was a problem with the modded equipment that came with the map. Um, some weird thing with the physics where it would just miss the field and wouldn't plant even though you were planting. So Turn this thing on. quite noisy but so I'm thinking this can direct drill because it's got the power harrow on the front and it's eating the grass in front of it so I would think that it can but it would be rather difficult um, to run this cedar with this tractor unless you're using the big weight that they had but again that is included in the map so it's not too difficult to just put that on there and get going. But yeah, as you can see, this field is pretty small. Let's see how it stacks up compared to some other of the fields here. So the biggest field, I would assume, would be field 6. And it's probably three or four times the size of this one, so not huge fields, but they're not tiny either. A good size for some small, cozy farming, I guess. Which seems to be 
pretty typical for farming simulator Dutch style maps. Um, the only one other one I can think of would be Terschelling, and that was very much a small, cozy farm map um, as well. So once we finish this little first lap, I'm just going to put it on a worker, I suppose, make sure there's no issues with the workers in the map. We'll let that carry on, and let's check out some of the cell points here. So it looks like we've got, actually, I'll just check it right on the map. It's a fair amount of the, I think. Whoops, I accidentally unhired the worker. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. There we go. So we have a sawmill production site, a sugar mill, oil mill, grain mill, cereal factory. There's a tailor shop for making clothes and a dairy. Is there a spinnery? It wouldn't make much sense. There's a spinner. Okay, so yeah, so you can have sheep on your farm here. You can take it right over by the spinnery, turn that wool into fabric, and then take it to the tailor shop, turn that fabric into clothes, and those sell for very, very expensive. I think it's thirty, round about thirty thousand dollars at the highest. Yep, for a pallet. So you can turn that wool into something really expensive over time. Station DS. I'm not sure what that will do. It looks like fertilizer and seed. I don't know if it would do lime as well. Let's just come over here and check it out. Let's... I guess I'm not running any mods. Is this the store anywhere over here? Oh, the shop is down here. That's right. Take a look at how that looks. That's a pretty good looking shop. That's one of the better ones I've seen. I like the floor tiles too. It's pretty cool. Nice little pad for customization and selling of vehicles. Some old tires. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is one of the better looking vehicle shops I think I've seen in a farming simulator mod map. As you can see that worker's having no troubles. It's not missing any gaps or anything even though I only did one little uh, work around on the field. You do start out with two big silage bunkers. Those are some pretty good size. You could fit a lot of silage in there it would seem as well as a bale and pallet storage. I'm not sure if this is the in-game one that came out in the recent update or if it's one modded with the map. But you can see it's a little patina there. The wood is starting to, the paint on the wood is rotting away. It creates a nice aesthetic for the map. How big is this farmland? Okay. You can buy all the extra spaces for zero dollars which includes the full outside of the map. I'm sure um, you are still only able to go within the actual boundaries of the map. I'm not sure why you can purchase the whole boundary of the PDA. That's funny. But yeah, that includes this pond up here. Let's go have a look at that, actually. Seems like one of the highlights of the map, for sure. All right, let's see if I can't hop over this fence here. Excuse me while I try and parkour. <laughs> there, we got it. Parkour master. Ooh, so there are collectibles. Wow. 60,000. Okay. Pretty sure the base game on um, the French map, the base game French map, um, 
has collectibles, and they're only 50,000, but these are 60,000, so... That would mean... All in all, you could get 1.2 million if you collected all 20 of them. A couple of waste baskets here. Some nice benches. A pretty good looking pond. That'd be cool if you could like swim in Farming Simulator, but... Doesn't appear, so... Got a water machine, vending machine, er, water fountain. A little bit of sparse woodland here before you're back into the road. Is this open? Nope, it's padlocked. There's another larger lake that way. Let's go and see what that looks like. I'm going to have to jump up on this roof here. Ooh, I got close. I think those are too heavy. Just walk over there and check that one out. See if there's any like cool lookout areas or waiting areas like don't imagine there's anything too spectacular, but you never know. It is good to see maps with more of a um, aesthetic-based thing. It's not... Um, oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? It's not just a map for farming. There's three separate bodies of water and a fourth smaller one down there with some nice cliffs and whatnot. I do want to check those out and see if you can there's any like special terrain or anything um, any little caves or anything up on the cliffs or if they're just cliffs look like some nice rolling hills that's pretty pretty good looking I'm just gonna walk through this guy's field he doesn't care right Got a cool little in infertain information center there. Some weather sh um, instruments. Yeah, this is a pretty good backdrop. Some nice stone rolling hills here. But not too steep that you can't climb up them. Let's just see if there's a little flat area up here. Looks like there is. Can you go back here? No. All right. So that's the that's the map border. Unfortunately, it'd be pretty cool if you could get a meadow up there or something. But no such luck. Pretty good view from up here, isn't there? This is one of the better backdrops of a map that I've seen, so um, good job to whoever made this map. I'll have to check that later. I didn't check it beforehand, my bad. We do own all of this, so I can place down stuff here if I wanted to, whatever I really wanted to in this area. Can't place anything on the lake. I mean, I guess if you um, turn off or you turn on free place, you can. I could just plop that down in the middle there. That's funny. Let's see how deep this thing is. So it does get pretty deep as far as farming simulator goes. I mean, obviously that's not super deep in terms of actual natural bodies of water. Just a little shed without a door on it? What's the point of that? Alright. Carry on around this lake. Pond, whatever. I don't know if it's quite big enough to be considered a lake.
This is a really scenic map. Definitely looks like fun to play. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, it's like a advertisement board. But it's been weathered really bad. That's pretty interesting. That's a cool touch. Yeah, this is a really nice map. Okay, I'm going to purchase something rather large to see how the store handles it. I know some places the larger items can get a little big for the shop. Maybe they spawn in backwards or whatever. Let's just do that to see how this thing would go. Okay, so you're gonna have plenty of room. This is a really big store lot. Let's let's lease like a big what's the biggest thing you can get in game? Is it that? I know there's some big slurry tankers. Let's just rent one of those big ones. Alright, let's get the big garant. Yeah, as you can see, there is tons of room in this area. So even some modded, like, big air seeders and air carts for those seeders, you're going to have no trouble at all. I know some some maps uh, you'd spawn in, like, the equipment would spawn in, like, right here, facing towards this wall. So you have to, like, back out, uh, but maybe your combine header spawns with the opening facing this way so you have to somehow manage to get your combine in this tight area in between the wall and where the stuff spawns in order to get your header and get out and I find that super annoying so let's just lease a combine header and yeah that's gonna spawn right here totally fine let's just lease several things so we can sort of figure out how big the area is. Alright, so there we finally ran out of room. So it does look like it can do two rows, for a little bit of it at least. That is very good to see. Plenty of space. You can get some big equipment in here, and lots of it as you can see. They did leave a little gap up by the entrance, up there at the top of the screen, to allow for your equipment to come in and grab the stuff you've bought. This is a really well designed map. Um, I'm going to definitely check and see who did this, but I would say this map would be really good for maybe like a pig farm, or um, yeah, running these two cattle barns. That could be pretty cool. There's not really any grasslands that I've seen. So you'd have to plant grass in some of your fields that you start out with. Or maybe you'd rather try your hand at farm manager mode. Where you start out with one and a half million dollars. You can buy up some of these fields. I mean the biggest field is only $250,000. And there's some big forestry land around the outside. So yeah, this map is really good. It's probably one of my favorites that I've toured. Um, and I think I will definitely start playing here. Obviously on a different one, I don't have any need for nine plows. <laughs> so I'll have to get this reset. But yeah, this is a very, very nice looking map. If you guys have appreciated this, uh, make feel free to leave a like. That'll help the video reach other people. And hopefully they can learn about this awesome map. And it also supports me as well. If you are going to play on this map, uh, let me know. It'd be pretty interesting to know how many of you guys like the map and want to play on it for yourselves. This is on the Mod Hub. I didn't check if it was for consoles as well as PC. I can't imagine it would be a PC-only map. It's not very... 
anything crazy going on here. But yeah, you got any suggestions for other maps to do a tour of? Or maybe playthroughs to, to start? That type of thing. Feel free to let me know. I do enjoy getting those comments and always try to respond to them as quickly as I can. But yeah, that's all for me for now. I'll see you next time. Peace.